Well, daylight savings time ended early Sunday morning and many people have a hard time adjusting their new schedules. But what about the people who work with animals? TV6's David Jackson went to an egg farm in Scandia to find out more. BSB Farms in Scandia has nearly 4,000 egg-laying chickens, producing enough eggs to feed hundreds of students at NMU and supply several area stores. According to BSB Farms, chickens generally have a set egg-laying schedule. Yeah, just like in the morning, about 6, 7 o'clock. Yeah, my dad usually wants us to come in here at 8, because like the eggs start to build up. And then we usually wash eggs around 8, 9 o'clock, so then we have the big bulk of eggs. There's always a little bit of eggs after that, but usually that's the like big mad rush. To ensure the chickens adjust their schedules to account for daylight savings time, chicken farmers use artificial lighting to simulate the sun rising slightly earlier each morning. We start the lights, we turn the lights on about five and they have like an hour to get ready and like that's when the sun starts coming up and we're getting them ready to lay eggs. We usually like take a week to transition the hour, you know, just, like we keep it pretty maintained so we don't have to change it so much at a time, just like a little bit at a time. Before controlling the lights automatically, they still had to switch their animals to the new schedule themselves. We have like a timer that you change, so we usually just a little bit each day and get that hour back. When we didn't have the barn, we would have to manually turn the lights off and stuff. Luke Bell, Robert and Haley's dad, says because of the family's consistent care for the chickens, production never falls below 85%. In Scandia, I'm David Jackson for TV6 News.